I got this new patient. She's 86 years old. She's got duodenal cancer. So they did a bypass so that her stomach goes straight into the intestine past the first three feet, which is the duodenum. And they're looking at radiation and chemotherapy. And you can see right here, I'll point at it. That's the nasty looking uh, mass right there. But I want to point out these little white specks like right there where the end of my pen is. And they're kind of throughout. You can see all the way up here and throughout there's little white specks everywhere. I think those are parasites. But on the report written by the internist or gastroenterologist or radiologist, whoever saw this, there's no uh, indication of parasites written in the report. I got four pictures. This is my second one. You can see the little white specks are throughout, and they're not supposed to be there. So if you're a gastroenterologist or internist, please let us know that these are not parasites. But there's two more pictures. So here we have more white specks, and there's the mass up here. And then over here, we have looks like little circles. Maybe those are bubbles, but I think it's looking more like a worm. It looks like a little hair or a thread, and it circles around. Now this is indisputable right there. That's a worm. And it might be three inches or four inches. And then down here, what's that white splotch right there? That's a different kind of worm. That's a parasite. All the way up at the top, we have bubbles. But this, without a doubt, that's a worm. And this right here, that big white thing, that doesn't belong there either. The basic foundation for cancer is parasites, mold, bacteria, and a bad diet. Of those four things, three of them have been removed, if you will, from the medical um, culture. Parasites, mold, bad diet. So we have medical doctors on YouTube and social media promoting seed oils. And I have 20 studies showing that seed oils damage tissue. Um, there's one medical doctor promoting sugar. And the American Dietetics Association and all these other people are promoting ultra-processed food as a healthy part of a good diet. And it's all, you know, that's not correct. And good luck finding a regular MD who will even look for parasites. And if you do a stool analysis, it usually comes back negative, even if you put the worm in the sample uh, test kit and you send it to the lab. And uh, mold is not well discussed because the treatment doesn't work very well. You have to use nutritional supplements for that. What the medical community is good for is bacterial infections, especially if they're acute. But if they're chronic and you, you can't really take antibiotics for year after year after year, you have to repair the tissue. You have to get the body healthy again and make the tissues more viable so that the bacteria have nothing to eat. So I just want to show you these pictures because this is what I see having done nutrition and trying to heal the body and learning about uh, holistic healthcare since 1993. When I saw these pictures immediately, I said, oh, she's filled with parasites. And I have people taking supplements and those little white things, they come out. And patients say to me, oh, it looks like little pieces of rice or half a piece of rice. And they'll get hundreds or thousands of them coming out. And so it's best to get them out now before you get a diagnosis of cancer.